Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley for the Hall of Fame Tennis Championships. We're here on the grounds of the International Tennis Hall of Fame in Newport, Rhode Island, and we thought, what better place to test our players' tennis trivia knowledge? Let's see how they do. At the Australian Open in 2006, Dominic Kerbody wore a pink and white shirt featuring this unusual feature. Was it A, an exposed midriff, B, two holes over his shoulder blades, or C, no sleeves? Blades. <laughs> you, you remember that? Not very well. <laughs> Would you ever wear such a shirt on the court? Uh, absolutely not. I was there. <laughs> you saw it in person. What were your thoughts? Um, hopefully he's getting paid a lot of money to do that, was my, were my thoughts, actually. I don't think there's any amount of money I could get paid <laughs> to wear that. Gussie Moran was an American tennis player in the 1950s. She caused a stir at Wimbledon after wearing these on the tennis court. A, ruffled bloomers, B, a sleeveless shirt, or C, a skirt? Oof. I have no idea. Ruffled bloomers. You are correct, oh, Jared. Way, way to go. Actually ruffled underwear. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Another fashion question for you. Judy Murray called this player's shirt, picturing a lion, quote, staggeringly bad in 2013. Was it Thomas Burdick, Radek Stefanik, or Andy Murray? First guess. I'm going to say Thomas Burdick. I'm going to go with the same. I was, was going to be my guess. Radek Stefanik. You are correct. Do you remember this shirt that she was talking about with the lion on it? Uh, he, he wore a lot of bad shirts. So. In addition to his Hall of Fame career, 2016 inductee Murat Safin estimates he's broken how many rackets in his career? A. 217, B. 560, or C. Over 700? Whoa, I go with 217. In the course of his career? Don't tell me over 700. <laughs> no. Really? I'm going to say 700 or more. Way to go. <laughs> how many do you think you've broken in your career? Not at six, six at like one time though, right? Four, four, come on. <laughs> Which of these players has not won the Hall of Fame championships? Is A, Leighton Hewitt, B, Mark Philippoussis, or C, Andy Roddick? Oh, I would go with Andy Roddick. I would go with, yeah, I would say the same. Uh, Philippoussis? Mm. Roddick. 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 Final answer. <laughs> Which Hall of Famer said this? I hate to lose more than I love to win. Was that A, John McEnroe, B, Jimmy Connors, or C, Eli Nastasi? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with John McEnroe. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go with Jimmy. Sam for the win. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna say Jimmy Connors. Two for two. Of the three players inducted into the Hall of Fame this year, which one spent 117 weeks at number one? A, Justine Ennen, B, Marat Safin, or C, Margaret Scriven? But I'll go Safin. Ennen. I wanted to say Ennen too, but <laughs> I gotta catch up because I'm down two to one. Nah, I can't. Moment of truth. A, a moment, I'm gonna go Ennen also. You guys, you guys are both correct. Uh, <laughs> As a member of the Hall of Fame Tennis Championship field, you're fighting for the A, Van Allen Cup, B, the Martin Vase, or C, the Laver Dish. Whoa, I have no idea. And I'm here. I cannot believe it. The Van Allen Cup. Maybe you'll know the answer to this in seven days. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Rafael Nadal was famous for wearing sleeveless shirts early in his career. Which American player also gave the sleeveless look a try? Is it A, Robbie Ginepri, B, Andre Agassi, or C, Vitas Gerolaitis? Robbie Ginepri. Yeah, it was definitely Neps. <laughs> uh, Neps had the biceps for it. I can't pull it off. He, he had it. You've done it, Sam. Yeah, oh, I've, I've been known to go sleeveless back in the day a little bit. <laughs> Do I get a bonus question so I can catch up or something? Okay. I'd like to All buzz right, in. Right. Wait, wait, do we both get to buzz? We both get to buzz. Okay, All right. right. In 1982, Hall of Famer Yvonne Lendl skipped Wimbledon. What was his excuse? A, I'm allergic to grass. B, I have tendonitis in my shoulder. Or C, I'd rather be playing golf. Sam. I'm hoping it's golf. I mean, that's the only decent reason I can think of. Final answer? Yeah, I'm going with golf. I think you like golf, and that's kind of an unusual answer, so I'm going to go with I'd rather yeah, I agree. I was golf. thinking the same thing. Oh. I'm going to go with, uh, what was the second one? The tendonitis? tendonitis? I'm going to say tendonitis. I'm going to say we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Eh, fail. He said he was allergic to the grass? Allergic to grass. Wow. Thank you. Nicely done. It wasn't so bad. <laughs> I'll go study up and come back next time. <laughs>